So this is a rich time for, for documentaries, and before we open it up for, for questions, I wondered if you guys could address, it, it feels like there is room for more innovation. It feels like there are more buyers. It feels like sort of a, 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 a fertile period for documentaries. Do you feel that way? Uh, after you, John. Uh, um, I think it's a wonderful time for doc makers, and uh, Certainly, certainly. I mean, this film for me was the first time I'd worked with Showtime, which I have to say was genuinely an absolute pleasure. Um, but there are more and more players in the business of wanting to make and finance feature documentaries. And, you know, particularly given the fact it was the first time I'd worked with Showtime, incredibly brave of them to let us just go and do our thing because they didn't intervene or interfere in any way as well. Um, you know, and I'm lucky enough to be working with Netflix and HBO and... A and E, and you know there are a lot of people out there in in the business of wanting to do what we do. So I feel like it's a really wonderful time for for doc producers like us. Yeah, it's a very it's it's a very rich time. Uh, um, uh, uh, there there are there are financiers, and there's still a very vital theatrical distribution uh, pipeline, which is fantastic. This movie ran in uh, how many theaters? How many cities? 60 or 70, 70, I think 70 yeah. theater uh, cities and and over 100 theaters in those 70 cities and had a had a, a, a vital life and then will be on Showtime starting uh, in November, 14th. Um, November 14th and available all day and night. Or a double on, act on Showtime now, Showtime Go, Showtime. Sit, watch this, and and uh, but there's also there, this is also um, a, a kind of maturation of uh, of another moment in the documentary community, which has to do with a lot of different things. But it's the 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 kind of coming of age of uh, of of uh, career documentary filmmakers. When we began doing this, I know when I began doing this. So you mentioned the war room before. You you could kind of count on your hands the number of people who had made more than two documentaries over their careers. Making a documentary wiped you out. Mm -hmm. It wiped you out financially. It wiped you out time wise. The distribution process was it was grueling. The fi everything about it. And so if, if people lasted more than a couple of films, it was kind of remarkable. And there weren't that many of them. And we all know the names of who they were. And now it's a it's a you know it is a it's it's, there are lots of people who do it, and it's great. It's fantastic. There are lots of festivals that are supporting them. There are lots of the, the IDA is, is is doing great work. There's so many. The, the Academy has a branch. In 1992, the Academy there was no Academy branch for documentaries. It was uh, I can't remember what the phrase was, but it was a kind of it was a group. It was not an actual branch. Now, of course, the grant, the branch exists and and is growing. There were all sorts of things. So. Um, uh, uh, and and there are career f filmmakers, people who are making uh, one or more films a year, and uh, and a lot of them. And it's a very very uh, it's a very exciting time. 